Hello, Mr. Lawrence. Eric, if I may. You may. My name's Todd Leeds. You may know my mother, Esther, from next door. Alright. She has a bad fall and needs to spend some time in hospital for treatment and some observation. Oh. Do you need me to help take her to hospital? Oh, thank you so much, Eric. We were hoping you could take care of her bird, actually, while she's incapacitated. Oh. Oh. Really? A bird? Yes, Eric, a bird. Esther's darling little bird. She loves him like he's a child. And why can't you take him home? He is, after all, like your brother. Oh, I would, Eric, but he hates me. Ah, uh, let me guess. Sibling rivalry? I'll just bring him over. Uh, <laughs> Eric, I'd like you to meet Gary. Hello? How sick is Esther? Not too sick, I hope. She better return. I don't want to be stuck with a pet. We all really appreciate it, Eric. Hello, puppy. So, I hear you got a bird. Yeah, a yapping parrot. So what's the big deal about looking after a bird? See, told you, we're just like that cartoon show. One of the main characters is a yappy parrot. Does the show mention anything about how to take care of the thing? It won't shut up and it keeps missing the cage when it craps. Have you ever owned a pet? No. Not even a dog? No. Why would I? I can't commit to a woman. I'm hardly going to commit to a dog, or any pet for that matter. Are you saying that you hold pet ownership above sexual relationships? Absolutely. You can't just dump a dog. When you take on a pet, it's for life. Speaking of which, how are you in Portnoy going? <laughs> you know. What? Well, I went on a date with this guy last night. Oh, a new guy. Well, Francis and I weren't actually dating, and I haven't heard from him for quite a while. So, I met someone else, and we had sex, which wasn't very good, and I haven't heard from him since. The trouble is, we work together. Now, I think the department may have heard that I was... Easy? Well, she still never had sex with me, so not easy. You know, a dud in the sack. A sex dud. I think I might be considered a sex dud now. I'd rather have a beshitted birdcage than this. Oh, Ashley, let me help put your mind at ease. Sometimes I have mad cravings. Sometimes I just have to have a particular burger or brand of smoothie, maybe a piece of fruit. Then when I have it, once I succumb to that craving, many times, many times, Ashley, I'm less dissatisfied. So you're comparing sex with me to eating a burger? Or a piece of fruit. My point is this. Many times, the mind can conjure a fantasy too perfect for reality to ever come close to competing. I think he's saying that you are every man's fantasy. That you are burdened by disappointing the average man. You're saying you've never enjoyed having sex with me. Is that it? No, I've never had the dud problem. What about you? Please, I was a professional. And I think these guys are full of shit. I'd say the dumb factor lays with your date. I think I have a solution for you. I need you to come over later and I will fix everything. Hey, come in. So what's your solution? I'm not having sex with you if that's your idea. No, even better. You have got to be kidding me. This is your solution to palm me off with a parrot? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. You could have at least cleaned the shit off the cage. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Beautiful. Come on, baby. 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 Come on